Hey, Mr. Richards here. Today's sixth grade unit four, lesson 11, anchor problems. Our objective today is to use ordered pairs to name locations on a coordinate plane and to understand the structure of the coordinate plane. So as we go into our first anchor problem here, number one, locate and label each point described by the ordered pairs below. Indicate which of the quadrants the points lie in. The first thing I'd like to do is tell you, well, what are the quadrants? Well, you think quadrants, there's four, and sure enough, there's four different sections of this graph here. This quadrant here is our first quadrant. Then we have our second quadrant, our third quadrant, and down here is our fourth quadrant. Now, of course, those are Roman numerals, which in math is how we typically describe quadrants using these Roman numerals, but I'll put in parentheses here, you know, that's one, two, three, and four. So those are our quadrants. Now, ordered pairs are always, always written in the format parentheses, x, comma, y. Always, 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 always. And so what the x tells you is how far on this x axis we have traveled. The y is how far on the y-axis we've traveled. And that's in comparison to what's called our origin here, which is 0, 0. And so, as we start to look at these, 7, 2 tells us we're going 7 spots along the x-axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, here's 7. And then... 2 tells us 2 up the y. 1, 2, here's the 2. And the ordered pair, 7, 2, is where these meet. So 7, 2 is right here. So we're going to label this one A, 7, comma, 2. And looking at our quadrant chart, this is in the first quadrant. What about B? 3, negative 4. The first number tells us the x, so 1, 2, here's the 3. And then negative 4, we're going down 1, 2, 3, 4. So here's the negative 4. And point B is where 3 and negative 4 meet, which is right here. So here is B at 3 negative 4. And looking at our quadrant chart, this is in the fourth quadrant, so I, V, and that's just 4. 1, negative 5. All right, well, here's 1 on the x-axis. Negative 5 is going to be 1 lower than negative 4. And so 1, negative 5 is actually right here. 1, negative 5. And this is C, which is 1, negative 5. And it's in, again, the fourth quadrant. Negative 3, 8. All right. Our x, we're going backwards. So 1, 2, 3. Here's negative 3. And 8, we're going 8 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So negative 3 and 8 meet right here. That's the address for that point D. So D is at negative 3, 8. Quadrant 2. And lastly, E, negative 2, negative 1. I'll we'll start at the origin. Negative 2 is back to here. Negative 1 is going down to here. And so negative 2, negative 1 meet right here. And so E, negative 2, negative 1 is in the third quadrant. And so when you look at ordered pairs, again, some of the keys, first, second, third, fourth quadrants, and then our 
ordered pairs are always listed with the x coordinate first, then the y coordinate. It's always alphabetical, x, then y. All right, let's continue on to problem two. Some points are shown in the coordinate grid below. Note, x and y are on the same scale, and this scale is one unit, which basically means that this is one, two, three, four, five, going backwards, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, coming up from zero, zero, you have one, two, three, four, five, and going down from zero, zero, we have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and negative five. So, that said, choose any two points. Consider the locations in the plane. How are they the same? How are they different? Write down at least one, or th at least three things you notice. Well, let's pick for this A and B. As you choose any two points. So to answer question A, I'm going to do that right up here. So we're picking A and B. How are they the same? How are they different? Well, let's go with same first. Same, they both look like they have this 4 on the X. So their X point for both is 4. Different. If I'm looking for how they're different, A's Y is equal to, let's see, we're 3 up. B's Y is equal to, it's down three, so negative three. How else are they different? Well, remember your quadrants. This is quadrant one, two, three, and four. Well, A is in quadrant one, B is in quadrant 4. And so, did we answer the question? We chose two points. Consider the locations. They're the same because the X point for both of them are 4. How are they different? The Y for A is 3, B is negative 3, and their quadrants are different. A is in quadrant 1, B is in quadrant 4. So that answers question A. What about question B? Name the coordinates for each point. All right. Star always, always, always remember that these are always written as x, y. And so we'll start for A. We're going, our x is 4. And our y is 3. B, as we've already discussed, our x is still 4. And our y is negative 3. C, our x is 3. Our y is negative 5. For d, out here, our x is negative 4. And our y is negative 3. As for e, our x is negative 5. And our y is positive 3. So those are the coordinates now for each point. Make some observations relating coordinates to locations in the plane. Here is an example. When the first coordinate is positive, that's the x, that point is located to the right of the y-axis. That is absolutely true. When the first coordinate is positive, as it is at 4, 4, and 3 here, we're to the right of the y-axis. And that's the other thing I didn't, oh, it is up there, y-axis labeled right there. So, what else can we notice? Well, let's take the opposite side of it, right? C. When the first 
I'm going to call it the x coordinate is positive, or I'm sorry, what's the opposite of positive? Negative. That point is located, let's see, the first coordinate was negative in D and E. Well, that looks like it's located for both of them to the left of the y-axis. So that point is located to the left of the y-axis. All right, what else can we notice? Well, let's go to the second coordinate. All right, let's just start when the second, which of course is the y coordinate. Well, let's start off by looking at the positivity. Let's be positive. What happens when that point is positive? Well, that point is located Let's look. It's positive in A and E. Well, here's the x-axis. What do they have in common? They're located above the x-axis. So in the second, the y-coordinate is positive. That point is located above the x-axis. So when the y-coordinate is positive, that point is located above the x-axis. And for a third observation, when the second, which again is the y coordinate, is negative, that point is located. And know we'll go look. It's negative. The second is negative in B. C and D. So where is it negative? B, C, and D. Where is it located? Below the x-axis. So that point is located below the x-axis. All right. That's C. D. Consider the rule. When the first coordinate is positive, that point is located to the right of the y-axis. Will that always be true or only sometimes explain your reasoning? Well, if the first is positive, it is always going to be to the right of the y-axis. It's just simply always true. So we'll go always true. 